for just joining us. We're live at the Alabama National Cemetery in Montevallo for this Memorial Day honoring our heroes. And joining us now is somebody you might remember. He joined us for our live coverage of the Veterans Day Parade a few years ago. He is a retired Colonel Danny Sample. You, you might know him in Alabaster. He owns Saluria Brewing Company, but he also um, is the head of one of the VFWs, and uh, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you, Mike. It's an honor to be here with you. No, it's, it's an honor for you to be here. Uh, Danny served in Iraq as well as uh, a young man who um, sadly died in Afghanistan. He served in Iraq, but he died in Afghanistan in service for our country. And he is who really your VFW honors, right? Absolutely. It's Lance Corporal Thomas Rivers, Jr. He's from uh, Hoover area, a graduate of, of, the, of one of the Hoover schools. And he was killed in Afghanistan in 2010. So our VFW post in Alabaster is named in his honor so that, uh, for one, we never forget his sacrifice and what he gave for us to be able to continue to have our day-to-day -day activities and, and what it means to serve. And uh, there's the bigger ceremony that, that is going on right now. And of course, uh, individual families as well as Danny VFWs, they have their own services and things that they do as well. I'm just curious, you know, as you come out here year after year, for, you know, every day is Memorial Day for, for you guys. But, you know, when you do it on this day, what, what does it mean to you? So with us, the VFW is the nation's oldest combat veteran organization. And we support all veterans, but understand that Everyone that is a member of the VFW has had someone that has uh, given their life. So for us as part of the VFW, it's a, it's a meaningful day in which we can reflect on those that we served with that are no longer here with us so that we may continue to be here. Uh, so it can be a deep reflection. Uh, sometimes we sit and, and think, uh, what can I do to continue to honor their sacrifice? Mm -hmm. And today is the one day that we can do it but we try to do it each and every day that we wear a VFW hat or a, a VFW pin or a shirt and with our poppies. You know, the poppies came from the Flanders field, the, the poem about World War I. Right. And so wearing the poppy helps to signify to honor those that gave their life for our nation. And I think when you talk to most veterans anyway, they'll, they'll tell you that, look, this is not to make guilt anybody for enjoying your barbecue, your night out or your day out on the lake or the beach or whatever. But just just to pause, right, and be thankful that you had the freedom to do that, and that's what these men fought for. Women, I, men and women fought for. Absolutely, and I've seen some people say, "Well, why can't I celebrate?" Well, you can celebrate. Those that gave their lives gave it, so you can celebrate. Take this time to enjoy your friends and your family, so that uh, their honor is not forgotten, but celebrated in a wonderful day because we celebrate their life and celebrate what they did for our country. Retired Colonel uh, Danny Sample, and uh, uh, by, by the way, uh, the mother of Lance Corporal uh, Thomas Rivers Jr., he is going to join us. Uh, she's going to join us a little bit later to talk a little bit more about her son. Danny, again, we thank you for your service. We thank you for everything you're doing to remember our fallen heroes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, everything that y'all do to help us continue to, to keep their names out there so they are not forgotten. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more live here from the National Cemetery in Montevallo on Good Day Extra.